Motion to proceed. As Senate Republicans take up President Trump's plan to end the shutdown, the Supreme Court threw a wrench into negotiations. The high court Tuesday refused to hear Trump's appeal on DACA, meaning the program protecting young illegal immigrants from deportation remains in effect, depriving Trump of a key bargaining chip to pressure Democrats to fund his border wall. That is our plan. Border security, DACA. On Saturday, Trump proposed ending the government shutdown if he got $5.7 billion for his wall and in exchange would temporarily extend protection for some undocumented immigrants. Democrats rejected the plan, and that was before the Supreme Court ruling. On Tuesday, they dug in their heels. What we have here is just another one-sided, partisan proposal from the president. There were no serious negotiations with Democratic leaders or any Democrat to produce this proposal. Now the two chambers of Congress are on opposite tracks. The Democrats passing funding legislation in the House with no money for the wall, while Senate Republicans will only consider Trump's proposal. The president's made a comprehensive and bipartisan offer. It's a strong proposal. It's the only thing on the table. And later this week, we'll vote on it. Negotiations between the two parties have been acrimonious. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi requested Trump not deliver his State of the Union in Congress due to security concerns. Then he canceled her trip to Afghanistan. Now a White House official tells Reuters that Trump still plans to give his speech in the chamber January 29th anyway. Amid this battle, an array of government agencies have not been fully operating since December 22nd, and 800,000 federal employees are not being paid.